Narcissists' toxic favours can range from small acts of assistance, requests for emotional support, financial support. However, what sets these favours apart from someone else asking you is the intent behind it. Often driven by the narcissist's insatiable need for validation, for attention. If you find that you are in such a dynamic, watch this video. Hello my friends and welcome back. I hope that you're all doing really well. So in today's video, we are talking about the toxic favors. And I feel like this is going to be a video that is going to be one of those that is going to be eye-opening because honestly, the amount of questions that I get about manipulation, why this happens, what's going on, why is this happening is incredible. So really, if you think about it, toxic favors, all right, what the narcissist is asking of you, all right, is all about manipulation. And there is this intent, there is this agenda that is behind it. It could be in a workplace, it could be a family setting, or it could be a romantic relationship. And you see, the, the, the other thing that I think is so toxic is that the narcissist creates this illusion of reprocity, meaning that they are going to be doing this for you. But the fact is, is no, it's all about transaction. All right. You do this for me because there is an expectation for you to do this for me. But for goodness sake, don't think that I'm going to be doing this for you. I am not doing nothing for you. And the thing is, with these type of situations, once you do it once, you're expected to do it again and again and again and again like you there's this cycle they're expecting you to keep doing it over and over again toxic yeah weird yeah let's talk about it now my friends just before we get into the video i just want to say that i do go live on this channel every single tuesday and if there's something on your mind or maybe you've got a question or you maybe you want to join a supportive community, come on over to the live because this is exactly what the live offers. It's a vibe, right? It is a vibe. Who says that we've got to be boring? Who says that healing has to be hard? What I would say to you is come on over to the live because honestly, it's so much fun. I'd love to see you there. So my friends, so my friends, we find ourselves in this toxic dynamic. What I would say to you, okay, well, let, let's look at the anatomy of manipulation. Let's have a look what really is going on here, okay? When someone is manipulating you, it's, it's done covertly. It's done in a fact that, and it can be anything, my friends, it can be anything. And the thing is, what happens is this person is wanting something from you. And when there are, and it can be anything from day to day things. So what it does do is whenever they're asking you for a favor, whenever they're asking you for something, it makes, it might bring up feelings of guilt. It might bring up feelings of allegation or dependency. And it also makes you feel bad, like you've got to help this person. So it isn't the fact that, oh, it's straightforward and I care about you and I want this for you. There's always an agenda behind it. And that agenda is to meet that person's needs. So it's about controlling the circumstances, controlling the environment so that this situation goes in this particular way. They might even frame this uh, quest or this favor as a form of loyalty to show or to represent or to indicate to them that you care about them. Ultimately, the underlying cause here is all about emotional validation. Think about it, that's what, they're, that's what they're looking for, is emotional validation. That is the supply, that's the fuel that the narcissist is looking for. It just, doesn't matter how it makes you feel, whatever. If they just need to know, okay, is that you are validating them emotionally. And this is all about to um, maintain control over the friendship, over the relationship, or over the connection that you have with this person. Then there's the bit where there is this illusion of reprocity. So it's almost as though they're saying all these things that, yeah, like I'll do this for you, or yeah, it will benefit you in some way, but it never does. The fact is, is it never actually does. And so it's, it becomes transactional. And that's how the narcissist views relationships. That's how the narcissist views people is all about 
transaction. It's basically what can you do for me? I'm not going to do it for you. That's how they see it. And that's the damaging part of it. So they, if you're, you're asking someone who cannot connect to themselves, connect to you in a relationship, in a friendship, what can they offer you? What can they give you when they can't do it for themselves? Yes, it may look like they are, but this is an act. This is not real. So you're thinking that perhaps maybe when you're doing something for them or, you know, you are doing this from the kindness of your heart that they're going to do it back to you. No, no, this does not happen and they will not do that. And that's what you have to understand. That's what transactional love is, conditional love. This is how the narcissist has grown up. This is how they have learnt about their world. You think that this is going to be any different with you? Of course you want to save them. Of course you want to help them. But it is not like that. That's not what's going to happen here. The narcissist is all about themselves and what they can, what they can get from you. And it masks their intentions. It completely masks their intentions. They see people as objects, objectification, all right? No connection, no true understanding. They don't understand the true value of connection. They can't do this for you. And think about the toll this is going to have on your mental health. This up, down, this, I don't know where I stand. You know, understand what's going on. Why is this person being like this to you? We have no understanding. We don't know why this is happening. It causes anxiety, PTSD, resentment, upset, rejection, completely triggers you. And this is all going on. This is all happening for you in this moment, in this relationship. And you feel on some level responsible that you have brought this on yourself. The narcissist will make you feel that. Okay, the narcissist will make you feel that because of the way that they are, because of the manipulation, because of the up, down, sideways, walking on eggshells. They will make you feel like somehow you are responsible for all of this that has happened. So they're gonna want you to take responsibility and make the change. And that's what it is. They're not gonna do it for you. All right. They're going to expect you to make the change like it is you that has made this happen. And think about what this is doing on your mental health, on your well-being and also how your body is functioning at that time. It is stressed. It is strained. You can't sleep properly. So you're constantly exhausted. You're constantly tired. You're not you're not eating well because your appetite is affected when you're not sleeping. It is completely affecting your daily functioning. This is what narcissistic abuse does. This is what these toxic favors, it starts off as favors and then it quickly escalates into something more. So escaping, and that is your next, that's your next point of call, being able to escape this. I know that it feels such an enormous task. I know it feels so much at the moment, but you've got to start somewhere because you are going to be stuck in this cycle. They're not going to go, they're not going to leave. Even though some of them do, all right, they will not leave you because they want what they want. They want you to be caught in this trap. And that's what it is. It's a trap. And that's why you feel trapped, unable to leave because of all these emotions, all of this that's going on. And of course, yes, you reach this threshold. But at that point, where are you at? What's happening to you? Where did you get to on this journey to have to get to this point? So it's about really making a decision and sticking to it, making a promise to yourself that actually escaping this, leaving this dynamic is really going to help you, you know, because you're going to fall prey. You're going to end up being a victim, the back, back, the to and fro, you know, um, the having to do something for them all the time, you know, and, and that's where it becomes this toxic bit, like this toxicity that happens. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve any of this. We have to empower ourselves. We have to choose us. We have to choose our lives. We've only got this one human experience, this existence, and it is now. You have to learn that this narcissist is never going to change. They're not going to suddenly see the error of their ways, no matter how many times you tell them. This cannot be cured with unconditional love. It doesn't matter how many times you tell them this is who they are and this is what they continue to do. And you have to see it for what it is. Because my friends, I mean, what's the alternative? You're going to stay in this toxic dynamic, consistently being depleted yourself, um, completely giving your energy to this person. How is that going to help you? How are you living? You know, you didn't come onto this earth to serve another person. No, you didn't. This was about you. This was always about you. So you have to understand that you are the most important. And this is about you going forward in your life and making that stand for you. 
So I urge you guys to really choose yourselves in this. Give yourself the chance to be able to heal, to be able to process this. It, I know it feels scary and it is, but you're going to get through this. All right. You're not a victim of circumstance. You need to make the right choice for you. If you want more details or like you want to learn a little bit more, I made this video, watch this one because this will really help. I've also um, do one-to-one -one consultations. And if you're interested, please see the description box below. I've also got a mentorship and a journal club. If you're interested in joining, the link is in the description box. And also we've got the Discord server, which is a community of like-minded individuals, people who have been something similar to you. And if you want to connect with them, please see the link in the description box. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has helped. See you in the next one. Goodbye.